Prophetess Debile, 7750 Media. Today is the 11th of July, 2024. Otherwise, the 5th of Tammuz, 5784. I had a visitation from Her Imperial Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, on Tuesday, the 9th of July, 2024. I've said it many times, that I get visitations from the dead, but I don't. I do not conjure up their spirits. I do not do gupasha or seances. But in any event, it was the first time that the late queen was coming to me, and I had already posted the video about Harry and Meghan. The first impartation she gave to me was about the Duchess of Sussex. I'll get to it in good time. I've had to do some research just to confirm that what I was hearing was correct. I have made it very clear that the departed souls who are sent to me by the Holy Spirit to interact with me do so for the purpose of completing some life assignment here on earth, which they can no longer do now that they've crossed over because they do not have physical bodies. On the other side, they are shown what they were meant to have done. And the kings and queens in particular come to me when there is something that must be corrected in my life or in the lives of other people. Just by the way, this is also the time of the sixth anniversary of the murder plots of a certain cult family of doctors that have been doing their utmost over the, over the last 14 years to claim that I need their help to diagnose and to treat me for mental illness. The videos I had to delete were partly talking about how my life has been hunted by the cult family of doctors who believe that they are gods and they are superior beings that are above God. And they decide whether I should live or die. Going back to the visitation by Her Majesty, the late Queen Elizabeth II, a most iconic lady indeed. But she knows that she was not perfect. I felt sorrow and grief in my soul when I felt her presence and I cried. Something she never did, of course, because royal protocols demanded that she be stoic at all times. Trust me though, that I experienced that human side of her that had to remain suppressed while she was the queen of the United Kingdom, as well as the head of the Commonwealth of Realms. It is very hard, even for a person at my level of spiritual maturity to pretend to be unmoved by the queen's visitation and presence. I can feel her presence even now. It is overwhelming, but I'm really happy that she's here because it also means that the Lord has promoted me in the spiritual realm and ranks to reach this level of authority. No wonder the demonic attacks have been so intense over the last few days. My lips even cracked. So I am nursing very sore lips at the moment. I've never suffered from lips that are torn. <laughs> but here I am. The Lord has a very unique method of working with me. So I'm just going to be slow and methodical about the Queen's visitation and unpacking it. In the first place, 
Diana, the mother of William and Harry, would have turned 63 years old on the 1st of July, 2024. Six times three is 18. Another way to express it is writing the number triple six. That is 666. Six, six. Secondly, she died at the age of 36. And her 27th death anniversary is coming up shortly. On the 31st of August, 2024. Whitney Elizabeth Houston was born in 1963. On the 9th of August, to be precise. She was going to be 61 years old on her upcoming birthday. You can see some sort of pattern already since Princess Diana, the mother of Harry and William of the House of Windsor, was born in 1961. Norma Jean Mortensen, better known as Marilyn Monroe, was born on the 1st of June, 1926. She would be 98 years old if she were still alive. She died on the 4th of August, 1962. 62 years ago. Now, so this, pardon me. She died on the 4th of August, 1962, which will be 62 years ago on her upcoming death anniversary in August. And you can see the mirror numbers again, if you like, the 36, 63, or the 26, 62. Queen Elizabeth II was born in the same year as Marilyn Monroe. She died at the age of 96 years old. If you reconfigure the number 96, you get 69. And a side lying 69 is the symbol of the zodiacal sign of cancer, which we are in now. So we are in the zodiac sign of cancer. I call them the zodiacal signs for a reason. Cancer is otherwise symbolized by a crab or a woman's breast. I spoke about this plenty in the videos I had to delete, but the Holy Ghost is not a man. He is not limited or confined in his methods of expression. He doesn't care whether hush money has been paid or if there are gagging orders in place. Because he also knows that the justice system of this world is perverted. He is the living expression of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to leave it here for now. Thanks for listening.